everyone. Good morning from Fort Barton. We arrived here yesterday evening. Uh, we were going from El Nido. We started off at like one and the, the, we took a van and it took us like three, three and a half hours to get here and the price was about 600 pesos. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, this is actually our final destination for our, our all Filipino trip. We weren't supposed to come here at all, but we didn't kind of like enjoy El Nido that much. So we were looking for some other destination to spend other three days. And yeah, a lot of people give, uh, told us to go to Port Barton. So that's why we come here. And yesterday we, we went out and we had an amazing dinner and it was only for like 100 pesos. So that's like one third of, of what like of food in El Nido was. So yeah, that was like the first thing we were like excited about. And then we had some beer on the beach and uh, we watched the sun, sun, we watched the sunset. And yeah, like we like this place so far. It's really calm. Uh, there's like a lot of tourists here, but like it's, it's calm. Like there's a beach and everyone's just sitting, drinking coffee or drinking beer and chilling. And yeah, that's, it's really nice. Like we live right on the beach, look. This place is called Awesome Beach Cottages. It's right on the beach and it's really, really nice. Uh, this, uh, we are gonna spend two nights in uh, this cottage and probably the next night or the third night we're gonna move up there, look. Here. It's like a cottage in the air. It's, it's so cute. Then the sun comes down and it's like dark in here and everyone goes to sleep. So it's, it's pretty calm, but yeah, that's actually what we really like, we enjoy because we are not like party persons or something like that. Yeah, so we like this place so far and yeah, that's probably it. And I'm gonna, like in this vlog, I'm gonna show you what are we gonna do because today we're gonna chill on the beach. It's kind of cloudy today, but yeah, we're gonna just rest. I went, I went actually for a run this morning. It was like the first time I run here since I like, I wanted to run here like more, but then I was just like, yeah, let's give my body some rest. I kind of didn't feel like I want to. Yeah, so, but this morning I woke up at 6 a.m. and like, yeah, I, I feel I wanna go for a run. So I ran on the beach. Yeah, so this is like what Port Barton is perfect for like a calm vacation and we're gonna take a tour tomorrow we're gonna chill on the beach we're gonna eat some cheap and really really good food we had an amazing breakfast today like amazing i had those banana pancakes and i it was really really very good and yeah, yeah let's start this vlog about port barton I, I hope i will share a lot of tips about this place with you and i will show you the most i can I, out of these three days we're gonna spend here Okay, so there's been like a little bit change of plans since like we didn't know if we were gonna like for Barton after our like experience in El Nido. So we didn't like uh, book this uh, cottage for more than one night and it's actually not available anymore. So today we're gonna stay in different apartment and tomorrow we're gonna move back and sleep in a little tree house that's so cute yeah so now right now we are picking up our bags we're gonna go to put it there to our other apartment then we're gonna take a boat to go to the white beach and gonna chill there all day and then we're gonna come back and sleep in another apartment uh, it's like in across the street because port barton is a really small city so everything is so close here Okay, so maybe I would call today like a day of changes because we just rented a motorbike. <laughs> That's a cool one, thank you. I just got, I just got a helmet. Yeah, so we rented a scooter because it's cheaper to go to the white beach by the scooter than by a boat. And yeah, let's go. Yeah, it's 11 a.m. and it's getting hot. Like it was raining in the morning and right now the sun come up. Some sun came up and it's. Yeah, and a scooter here is for yeah, it's for 100 pesos for one day, so it's pretty nice. Like that's like almost what we pay in Cebu. It was 350, and uh, in uh, El Nido we paid 400 too. But it was only because like we argued a lot, or like our friend argued a lot about the price because it would be 500 for one day. We can do a motorbike photo shoot. was a 
bumpy road. Oh my god, it took us like 15 minutes to get here, but it was like uh, rocks and like um, it wasn't nice road at all. But yeah, that's what you have to take to get to some nice place probably. So we are here, our butts are sore, arms are sore from holding. Yeah, but we are, we just arrived to White Beach and the guys like it looks like paradise so we just had to pay like 50 pesos each for the entrance fee it's kind of like the most we have to pay we had to pay in here in filipinos or to get on a beach but they will have let you use a toilet you can take a shower and stuff like that so yeah that's probably it and it's like only 40 people here on the whole whole big beautiful beach so yeah let me show you just got to our second accommodation here in Fort Barton look it's like this little cottage and it's uh, there's like a tree behind it and that's why they call it tree house because it's on a tree and it's really cute and it's like little little so let me show you and yeah look at this I sunburned my nose and as you saw I I fall down on the motorbike so today I'm like a big island but it's like underwater so you can walk pretty far and there's a lot of starfish like not here where the like people are on the island but there and look guys some fish bite me like in my leg and I was like ah! <laughs> because I didn't know what it was but this is really really nice
so we just finished the tour we did like a combination tour and it was so nice like we see turtles we see starfish we see corals and we have amazing food and it was like it was way better than the tour sea in El Nido like I can I, I can even describe how it was really nice and also like going to the to those islands it didn't take that much time by a boat because in here in Port Bar Barton everything is really close but in El Nido we take like an hour by boat then 45 minutes by boat and we spend like a, the most of the day on a boat but here we really spend like the day by those experiences not on a boat and right now we arrived to our accommodation for this day for this night and it's the cottage I told you about in awesome beachfront cottages and it's right behind me yeah this is where we are gonna sleep and right now I'm gonna show you uh, because it's so cute and it's so nice yeah we, we don't have like a bathroom there of course we gotta use the shared one but yeah it's, it's okay for one night and let me show you Look at the view we have. This is so beautiful. I'm so excited about this, like our little little tree house to sleep. Yeah, I like for Barton so far. It's a nice, calm place. We're gonna spend last night here. Tomorrow we will probably ride a scooter or kayak. We don't know yet. And we will go to the white beach again because we love the place. Like it was so, so beautiful. Yeah, I'm right, right now I'm so happy because this is our like end of our vacation after seeing uh, Boracay, Cebu, El Nido and I was kind of scared after El Nido that we are not gonna be like happy about the end of vacation but yeah this is exactly how I imagined our vacation to end tomorrow probably white beach we don't know yet if we are gonna rent a kayaki or a scooter again but I will definitely keep you updated and in the afternoon we're gonna take a van it's about 350 pesos for one person to get from Port Barton to Puerto Princesa and there we are gonna spend one night and then in the morning we're gonna fly to Manila we're gonna spend one night there and then in the morning we're gonna fly to Shanghai and Prague so it's gonna be a long way home after perfect vacation we will see you in the morning good morning everyone oh we just finished our 5k run this morning it's like after two weeks that i ran this far <laughs> i know it's not that far but yeah we didn't work out here at all so yeah, 5k run this morning that's why i'm all red uh my nose is getting better my mouth is better but getting better but i still look look funny I'm sorry. It's morning. Yeah, it's like 7:30. Uh, we're gonna just take a breakfast. I'm gonna definitely have those banana pancakes here because it's and after this after this run, it's gonna taste even better. And then we will probably go to beach. And we are taking a 5 p.m. van to Puerto Princesa. And it's only like two hours. This is our last morning on a beach, and I'm really happy that we finished it off with a morning run. We just got to White Beach. We, we rented a motorbike in the end because a uh, kayak was 600 pesos and we don't have that much like... Oh, we have like a change, but we want to eat. So we uh, ended up taking a motorbike because it's uh, only 400 and we will probably spend the day here. It's only 10 people here yet. Like 10 people, huh? do you understand? It's like a huge beach. It's like, it's like a half of Boracay. It's kind of like a private...
hear this story. We just arrived to Puerto Princesa and we arrived to our accommodation. It's like uh, 9.30 right now. We just want like, we just wanted something cheap just to sleep, o sleep over because uh, tomorrow in the morning, like 6 a.m. we are headed to the airport to catch a flight to Manila. And we arrived to our accommodation. We booked it in bo uh, booking like yesterday or two days ago. Uh, we arrived to the accommodation and they just weren't able to find up us in their system so we didn't know what's happening because we had the accommodation and then we check our reservation and <sighs> you want to tell them what happened mistake <laughs> yeah because Adam he booked it for yesterday we were in the Puerto Princesa all the power they had like a blackout in all Puerto Princesa we didn't have any accommodation so we just like asked them about some like tip and we walked like in the very very dark street of Puerto Princesa and uh, we found this accommodation when we arrived here it was kind of scary because it was really dark everywhere and it didn't look nice this room in the dark but when we like put our things here we paid we have electricity and our fan is going and we have bed to sleep on and right now we just want to have a beer and then go to sleep because we are waking up very early in the morning. Tomorrow I will bring you along with me to Manila. We will have one all day in Manila. We are gonna sleep over in Manila. So tomorrow, let's see you in the airport. We're gonna have one day in Manila and that's gonna be a wrap for my five or four or five travel vlogs from Philippines and Shanghai. So meet me tomorrow at the airport. Hi, with all my backpacks, we just arrived to Manila and we catch a bad bus because we wanted to go to Terminal 1 and we wanted to, we went to Terminal 3. So then we waited for another bus, so it's already like 11 a.m. We still haven't eaten yet, like any breakfast, nothing like since 5 a.m. And we just arrived to our apartment for this night and uh, we walked here from the airport. And so right now we are here at the reception we're gonna hopefully check in if not we ju we will just store our luggage and we will go eat somewhere because we are starving and i have no idea what are we gonna do here today like no idea adam he has like a friend in here in manila living in manila so maybe we will meet up with him and he will show us around i don't know i will keep you updated so we just got this apartment, we like paid uh, about 100 pesos to get it earlier and we actually ordered a food delivery here, like some chicken and rice, they do it like the hotel provides it, so we are gonna eat, eat here uh, in our hotel and we don't know what we are gonna do for all day. We will maybe meet some friends and go sleep early today because we are waking up at like 3.30 tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah, we will eat in like 40 minutes and then I will keep you updated again. Like I eat chicken here every single day. <laughs> Docela dost unavení, teda aspoň já, jelikož jsme stávali asi 
I put my cheesecake. I'm sorry. Like we are really tired. Okay, so we just got back from the Manila city and we got really tired. Like we went to we went to Robinson's Park, so we shopped a little bit. I got so many beautiful things. Let me just quickly show you. I'm gonna just quickly quickly show you what I got. I got like a skirt like this. It's everything is from shop called Cotton On. I didn't know it and I'm, I got obsessed. It's so beautiful. I got a shirt and I got these trousers. I'm gonna definitely wear it for uh, the plane tomorrow because it's so comfy. I also got a like, crop top like this. It looks, looks really nice with those trousers. And I got a crunchy and this and new sunglasses and I'm really happy because it wasn't expensive at all and it's really beautiful so yeah that's my little haul and we just got back to our apartment it's like like 7 30 p.m. we wanted to be here soon and we kind of like didn't manage it but we went to Chinatown and to like the market and it was so huge like you saw it was like we got lost like 100 times and we got really tired because we walked all day and we were waking up in the morning very early and right now we're gonna just take shower pack our pack our bags and because we bought some more souvenirs like for our families and friends because for this flight we will finally check in our luggage so it can be heavy so we will pack everything take a shower and yeah that's it for this vlog because tomorrow morning like 4 a.m we are waking up and 6 a.m we are taking a flight to shanghai we're gonna spend one day there again and then we're gonna take a plane to prague and home train to brno so yeah guys that's it this is probably my last thing seeing you in my travel vlogs from philippines Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed all my vlogs as I did because it was so fun. Like this vacation was so fun. But, but I'm not, not going to repeat it all over again because you saw it in my vlogs and it was, yeah, it was something like different and it was experience. It was adventure. We did so many things. So yeah, make sure you see all my travel, all my Philippine travel vlogs. And thank you very, mu very much for watching this. I can't wait to make more content at home because I have a lot of ideas to do and I will definitely do more videos in English. I will also do some videos in Czech so Czech people don't be sad uh, because I'm definitely gonna do some more Czech videos but also English videos. So yeah, that's it. Thank you really very much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe this channel because I have a lot going on when I get home. And wish us a safe travels. Bye!